Hi guys, how you doing? This is Q coming to you once again from DIY Genesis. I'm excited once again to bring us another tutorial. And so today we're going to be talking about local WP. Um, such a wonderful tool. I've been using this tool for a while and I really love the workflow and I think it's something that is worthy of reintroducing and allowing people to kind of really connect to this tool because it's a great way for anyone uh, that wants to spin up a local WordPress website before you um, deploy it to your production server you can build all your components you can build all your pieces you can experiment you can do all your beta testing with WordPress with this tool it's a phenomenal tool just to be able to have a local WordPress environment set up for you and you can see right here on the site localwp.com the number one local WordPress development tool an effortless way to develop WordPress sites locally and so that is exactly what it is excellent tool and so um, I've already downloaded I've been using it for our uh, for a while now so what I wanted to do is just go ahead and kind of drag it over uh, to the desktop so we can kind of see this thing in action and just kind of get an idea of what it's like to uh, use this tool on a daily basis so I'm gonna go ahead and make some adjustments here to get this in full view so we can kind of see it. Well, you can see I've already gotten sites already set up. And one of the things that's a new feature that they added is the ability to kind of add these, these categories that you can set up for each of the sites and that you're building. So I got my personal business site, potential projects. I have just regular sites that I'm, that I'm working on. So here you can see just really easy. Uh, just add, you know, click on the plus button here. You can add, I'm running a, a a, a Mac machine, but you can obviously do the same thing on Windows. This runs in any of those environments, so you can you can set it up in any of those ways. Uh, you create a new site, uh, WordPress website, or you can do a, what's called a blueprint, and your blueprint is just basically saying if you have an existing site and you just want to blueprint that existing site uh, to bring it over that's already have pre-installed plugins and themes, uh, you can just do that with creating a blueprint from an existing site so you can see immediately how advantageous this can become for a developer and workflow and someone that is really wanting to just kind of be able to spin up a wordpress site very quickly experiment play around with things and be able to do things very efficiently um, so let's go ahead and just create a mock-up site just say continue i'm um, going to just say this is uh it's called this test uh, test WP and then we'll hit continue and then we just use the preferred or custom however you want to spin that up it's up to you and if you do custom you can pick your PHP version you can pick the, uh, the web server and you can pick even database uh, but we'll just use the preferred for now we'll just hit continue and then we can just do test WP uh, dash admin for the username and then we'll just do uh, just any password that you want to use is perfectly fine and then I have this default to my uh, personal email address which is fine and then um, in fact I'll just change this really quick to DIYgenesis.com and then I will add site so once I add the site you'll see it says provisioning services it'll spin up it says adding WordPress, it's installing WordPress, and there you go. It's done. Just that fast, you have a WordPress installation. It's running at this site, localhost um, 199, and I always usually turn on the one-click admin so I don't have to worry about trying to log into this every time. And so you can see uh, right here, I'm going to click on this, and um, it should open it up in a separate window where the admin panel is and then also the site itself. So we'll click on WP admin and you'll see immediately it takes us here to the um, to the back office. We're already signed in again. That's what that, that whole admin sign in toggle was all about. So it makes it easy for you to sign in. As you can tell right here, um, it's using the 2024 default theme for WordPress as the initial theme. And so if we go back and kind of look at the um, let's let's go back here uh, where we were and just and if you hit open site this is what you see it opens up the site so obviously you know from here you can just go to visit site in the back office for WordPress to bring up the site 
as well. But I wanted to show you what that button does when you're inside the local WP program itself. So again, you guys can get here. This is what the site looks like on the front end. And um, it's, it's immediately uh, accessible. You can see right away, here's all your themes that, that come to fault with this. WordPress is running 100%. Now you can go in and um, look at all at all, all pages. You can see there's just a sample page here. There's a few sample themes is, that are already here. These are just simple ways of spinning up WordPress and get things going really quickly. You could, of course, could add your own themes if you want to. Um, there's tons of themes out here already. Uh, block themes is obviously what I prefer to use, and but you can go out and install any of these themes that are out there in the WordPress. Uh, library you can install those very quickly and easily and then begin to start your development so you can see again how advantageous this is right now obviously we don't have any plugins installed but we can go ahead and install plugins as well and again this can be a very experimental tool you can build all of your content locally and then of course later on I'm gonna do a video that shows you how once you build your website how to take that website and then launch it to your production server so it's sitting out on your server and you'll be able to launch that for a client or if you're doing a project work or you're doing some kind of uh, personal project you'll be able to upload and launch that project immediately so guys I think that's it for us today thank you so much for joining us again at DIY Genesis again uh, please make sure if you like this video, um, just click the like button, uh, click the share button, uh, share with your friends. And then also please make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of the great content that we're going to be producing over here at DIY Genesis. Until next time, guys, thanks so much. I look forward to our next video together. Bye-bye.